Welcome back to another special video of the Hockey Nation Live Show. Today, it's all about the NHL Draft Lottery 2021. I'm going to give you the top two team is going to win this lottery. So don't go nowhere. This is your coach, uh, the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchy, back in the boot. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about the NHL lottery. It's going to happen tonight at 7 p.m. on the NBC Sport Network. We're going to be live and tell you a little bit more what's going on with that lottery. But today I want to mention who is going to win the lottery tonight. Of course, the chance for my odds to win this will be very hard. But you know what? The key of this video to show you a bit how this works and uh, I'm hopefully you're going to understand. Don't forget please to leave uh, your comments and likes and share this video with your friends, your family. So let's dive in right away with the first thing. First of all, I want to show to teach you the, the new rules in 2021 draft. It's only the first two picks now instead of the first top three. It's only happening now and you can move up more at 10 picks. The second thing, 2022, I just want to remind you, start there. You cannot select two time to be the top two during a period of five years. So it's very important you can understand so a team like Edmonton in the past cannot, or Buffalo, cannot be the best two selection top two or each draft a year after year. So that's going to be only in 2022. Let's don't be now the odds of those selections. First, the... New York Rangers, 1%. Dallas, 1.4. Philadelphia, 1.8. Calgary, 2.2. Chicago, 2.7. Arizona, 3.1. Coach, why is black? I'm going to tell you why in a few minutes. Ottawa, 4.5. You can go all the way to the top. So like Rangers cannot move up more at 10 position. All right? So just give you an idea how this works. And of course, Buffalo as the most odds this draft at 16.6, and I'm 12.1. Seattle, they have a new team. They didn't give them 11.5, but they gave the same odds like the New Jersey as a position number four. And you can see Columbus at 9.5 and Detroit 7.6. We know the last couple of years, Detroit Red Wing struggled a lot. Uh, they jumped, they, they was not lucky in the draft lottery, and they go down a few times, um, and, you know, uh, I think there was the little bit disadvantage of that situation, to be honest with you. Let's now dive in about the, what they need. So what are you talking about, Coach? I want to give you a little bit of team, not the, se the 16 team, but a couple of team of them, what they need at different position. Example, Buffalo. They need at any position. They're goaltender. They are UFA anymore. I think that would be great to add a defenseman. And, of course, a forward. That would be really what they need at that moment. And I, I believe for what they have right now and what's coming, forward would be something very really good for them. And maybe a center or a winger that would be good for them. Seattle, any position is a new team. So I'm not worried about that. New Jersey, I really believe defense will be where they're looking for on my book. Columbus, a forward, center, that would be what they're looking for me. Detroit, forward, winger, for center, more center, I believe that would be good for them. San Jose, forward, as a winger. Los Angeles, another Los Angeles forward, but winger for them. Their line of center could be great. Vancouver, a defense, support Queen Hughes. I think that would be a great add for them. And finally, Ottawa, listen, Ottawa, they can take any position. I think when they go to select at the rank, they have to look about what is their best player at that position at that moment. So I think for, the, for me, Ottawa, that's the way they should go. Uh, they already met Murray. Their defenseman is pretty good with Thomas Shabbat. Uh, Jake Sanderson's coming up. Of course, a national D would be good. But I think uh, forward, that would be another also for that, for that team. And my prediction, I'll be honest with you, I did not do a lot of change from 16 with the Rangers, 15 with Dallas Star, 14 Philadelphia Flyers, then after that 13 Calgary, 12 Chicago, 11 Arizona for Fate. Now, the last the first round pick, guys, Ottawa 10, 
And then number nine, Vancouver Canucks. Number eight, I'm going to go with Los Angeles King. Number seven, usually drop a couple of rank over there. Number six, San Jose. Number five, the Columbus Blue Jackets. Drop also. Number four, Seattle. Drop also. I reserve forfeit because they did uh, interviewing some players earlier during the COVID, and that's the reason they're going to lose their first round pick. If they win, they cannot win. They're going to be anyway, and they have to do it again, the draft on NHL. So what's next, coach? The number three this year is going to be the Buffalo Sabres. They're going to drop off two positions. The number two is the Detroit Red Wing jumping of many positions. And finally, the number one this year, the Anaheim Ducks jumping at two positions, and they're going to be the first team on the NHL Draft Lottery 2021. And for me, they will also select their first round pick on the July 22nd, 23rd during the NHL Draft 2021. Now, I want to share a bit very quickly. I'm not going to talk about each player. If you turn that, what we got at the May 21st, the selection from the elite prospect. The number one is Matthew Bernier. Number two is William Eglob. Number three, Brent Clark. Number four, Owen Power. A lot of people put our Owen Power on the top of the selection over there. I'm not going to tell you what is right, what is wrong, or what they should do, what they need to do, everything like that. But what I just want to give you a little bit, a little bit, bit of what they have as the best player and the, for the upcoming draft. My selection right now, I really believe, and he get a lot. He stock market increase during the world championship is Owen Power. I think he should be the number one. But again, we're going to talk about this a little bit later. I just want to share with you who is going to win tonight. I believe this is my prediction. Please don't forget to sharing and your comments. What is your team's going to win tonight? The lottery of the 2021 NHL draft. Thanks again for watching us. Please, like we do at the end of each video, I just want to remind you one more thing. Of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day, everybody. Look forward to seeing you tonight at 6.45 because I forgot to mention this. We are going to be live stream at two games tonight, Montreal Canadian versus the Winnipeg Jets at 7.30. And after that, following this game, we're going to go to game number two between the Vegas, uh, Vegas Golden Knight and the Colorado Avalanche. It's 1-0 for Colorado Avalanche. Bonjour, mes amis. On se reparle un peu plus tard.